Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. I'm the Witch of Wonderlust here on YouTube and on Instagram if you're new here, and today I've got another unboxing video for you. Not my usual style. Don't know how I feel about them, but luckily they're press-ons, so, you know, they'll only last about a week or two. Got another Witch's Unboxing video for you. This month is going to be really special and very interesting um, because it is the month of October, so this box is a little different than their usual box. I think that they were definitely busy this month. I'm just gonna move this off camera and pull out whatever I end up uh, finding in here. So <laughs> grab something to drink. This video is sponsored by The Witch's Box, the people who supply this box every month. There's a link down below if you're interested. These boxes are always really, really interesting. They'll actually commission artists to make custom items just for these boxes. And I just think that that's really cool because then you have something super special and unique in your craft. Thank you to my wonderful sponsor, The Witch's Box, for allowing me to do this. Link is down below if you want to check that out, but I am way too excited to get into this box, so let's do that. First thing is first. <laughs> yes, the first thing I get. Some black tea, just straight black tea, which is perfect for me because I like to mix some of my teas. All right. Oh, okay. Walking the Twilight Path, a Gothic book of the dead by Michelle Bellinger, Bellinger? Bellinger, I think. Let's take a look at the contents here. Looks like an interesting book. You know that I always love adding books to my list. Okay. Is that more tea? <gasps> Got an oolong tea. Yes. All right, oolong and black tea. I'm gonna move this over. There we go. And what is it? Ooh, what's this? Hold on, it's wrapped. You can't see it, that's not helpful for you. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, it's gorgeous. Is it, ooh, is it a, <laughs> ooh, is it a really fancy pendulum? But it's just really long. I have no idea. It's pretty, I just don't know what it, it's for. <laughs> okay. I'm sure there's grimoire pages somewhere in here. There's always grimoire pages. Oh, got another thing that's wrapped. Check that out. So, skull candles are great to put on ancestor altars or anything that you're doing for Halloween or for Samhain. Um, you can light these and set out some offerings for people or anybody who has passed, including pets if you wish. Yeah, these are great. Oh, awesome, okay. That. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, how am I gonna get this out though? Oh my God. Oh my God. So here is the handmade item, specially made for the witch's box. Wait for it. Move this. Check that out. Look at this and check out the planchette. Come on. Oh my god. These are. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Holy crap. Okay. 
you win. All right, I don't think there's any Grimoire pages actually this time. Let's see. Double check, of course. Okay. I'm still not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what it's for, Olivia. But is it like this? Maybe it is a pendulum. I am, comp I, maybe I'm just being silly and one of you can tell me what this is for. I think it's for that, but you know. All right, so there wasn't a ton of items in this box, but oh my, I mean, I'm a tea person. This is gorgeous. I'm actually just blown away with this spirit board. I've actually never owned a spirit board before. So it'll be interesting to try out. And oolong tea and black tea, both are great for divination. Oolong tea is the traditional. I think I mentioned that in the last box because it was the tea box, but oolong tea is the traditional to read with. And you can also scry in the cream. So kind of like looking at clouds, you know, you see different shapes and such, you would brew the black tea, let it get super strong, and then as you're pouring the cream in, don't mix it, just pour it in and watch the clouds come up and you would scry in that. Um, this is probably going on my ancestor altar. If not, I'll probably use it and save it for spell work of some sort. I'm really excited to read this book. I'm, I've never heard of this book. I've never even seen this book before. The amount of work that the artist did <laughs> to make hundreds of these. So, um, who is this by? Spirit, spirit life? Sacred life, your sacred life. So thank you to your sacred life for putting in that effort, that time, the, the skill, the craftsmanship into this because this is, it's so pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have any ideas what this is, again, I'm pretty sure it's a pendulum. I just think that it's a very long, chain pendulum and very interesting. So I'm gonna be probably using it as a pendulum, let's be honest, but I have actually seen pendulums be used on a spirit board before. The first person I've ever seen that happen with is my friend Tally. If you don't know Tally, she's the one that I would have tipsy tarot readings with when I was still living in California. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I'm really excited. The deep dive is actually tomorrow and that's one of the biggest things that I love about this box in particular is that they always have deep dives, which means that they give you a link to a Zoom meeting and everybody who got this box meets up on a Zoom meeting with the owner of the witch's box. Sometimes the authors, actually, a lot of the time the authors of the books that they send out will make it and sometimes the artists will make it and everybody gets to chat about how they used the box or what their thoughts were, any questions that they may have had. So it's a really cool experience because it's kind of like a little mini coven of the people who got the boxes and you get really awesome resources and ideas from the tools that you get in the box. So that's one of my favorite things about this box is that it is a very community based thing. Um, but yeah, this is it. I am so excited. These are just so aesthetically pleasing and they're so pretty and I've never had a spirit board before. All right, I'm gonna calm down. Anyway, I would love to know what your plans are for Samhain. I'll probably just be hanging out, making tea and doing divination, setting up an ancestor altar and just honoring the people and those that have passed on from this realm. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. Short and sweet, but did not disappoint me. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.